Hi, this is Tina and Sasha here from Under Three Acres, and today we're going to do three things. We are going to tell you what we really think about Starlink. We're going to replace our damaged Starlink with the kit we've been replaced with uh, by Starlink. And the third thing, we're going to do speed tests before and after the replacement. So just to recap, we've had Starlink now for six weeks. Well, we've installed it six weeks ago today. Within less than three weeks after that, my rabbit killed Starlink. You can check out that in the video above and I'll link it below as well. And we repaired it. And we've been living with the repaired Starlink since then. The same day we sent out, um, what do you call it, a support email. Yeah. Look, we sent an email to support. We got a message back from support that a new one is gonna be on its way. We got that within less than 10 days. It was a little more than a week. We just haven't had a chance because of harvesting and you know canning and all that stuff. So we haven't gotten a chance to put it up. So today we're gonna to do that. We're gonna replace the damaged Starlink through the new one we got from Starlink. It is a refurb as far as I know, yep. like that's what they said, it's gonna be a refurbished kit. So when we send ours back, they'll refurb it and somebody else who gets a, who damages theirs will get our old kit. And so they're really amazing because we didn't cost anything. So what we wanna do first is we're going to do some speed tests before on the damage because that was in the comments, like they thought maybe it would be a little bit compromised with the speeds. So I'm gonna be curious to see this before and after speed tests. So far, like Starling's been really good. There was it's one day good, yeah. that wasn't very good and we had some issues with the speed. It was kind of glitchy. So we decided just to reset it and that was putting it in storage mode. And we're, my son's gonna show you in a little clip in a little bit how to do that because we need to do that anyway to put in the to new. To pack it up. Yeah. yeah, to pack it up. And so we've got a new kit. We're gonna see if we can get away with just replacing the dish. The dish. Yeah. We're not sure if the, each dish is um, linked to the modem, linked to the modem and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. We're going to just try to replace just the big thing, but yeah, let's get That's to right. it. Yeah, yeah. We, we got it all. Yeah, we got yeah. it all. We got a whole complete set. Yeah. So yeah, we'll show you that in a second too. So while we were able to fix our cable, the one that the rabbit chewed up, and get power back to the dish, so that it could go into stow mode. If we weren't able to, Starling told us, they assumed that because it was broken and we were getting a replacement, that we're not fixing it, that we were allowed to force it into stow mode in order to put it back in the box to return to them. That would have meant we would have broken it. We, we, and we were totally allowed to do that, to force it, even if it meant snapping it, just to get it back to them. So like in the original video, we taped this to pull it in through the house. So I'm just going to tape this to protect it as we fiddle it through. If you haven't seen that video, how we set it up, be sure to check that out. The link will be in the description box below. There you go. Ready to go. just had to change the dish with the original cable. We didn't have to change anything else. We're up and running. We're going to show you those speed tests. 
Just a second here. So we just wanted to, before we close out, talk about what we really think about Starlink. So far we've only had it six weeks. We haven't had it in the winter, but so far it's been really good. Yep. Like I said, we just had one day that was kind of glitchy, but this past week we had one kid in a class, uh, it was in an online class. Another one was doing it, my oldest was in college doing his class, and I had two kids doing IXL math at the same time with four people using the internet all at the same time and no one had any glitches, no one got booted out and that would have been unheard of before considering oh, yeah. three or all four of us were in the basement where we had basically no internet before. Yep. That That's really changed, like it's been really good. The only thing I must say, I must admit though, that we did get an internet booster. We, for the basement. For the basement. Yeah. We should have gotten that before. I wouldn't make a difference. I, I don't think not, it, not with the old internet because no. we didn't like where my office is we didn't get any internet no. before and if we wanted to use it downstairs we'd have to bring the hub the telus hub yeah. downstairs and it had to be right beside you and it had to be like the perfect day in order to get any internet at all so we're gonna do or we've done speed tests in in those in those rooms so yeah so basically it's been really awesome yeah. we have internet and multiple people can use it at the same time it's more expensive though like that's the only con is is it is more expensive but you get more bang for your buck we paid i think close to 350 dollars just, just for the for smart the hub, hub yeah. and to set it up yeah. for telus and their monthly was i think around 85 canadian plus tax right now we're paying 135 including tax for Starlink and the startup cost was close to 800, 800 canadian it was yeah. 890 or it no, was, no, 800. It was 800 800 and something yeah. or 820. 820 yeah i, I think 820 i'd yeah. have to look back at the email yeah. it is more but we haven't had like but you blackouts buy the, the, by the modem the dish everything right out it's all yours you don't there's yeah. no fee anymore well we own the hub too yeah i know so there's no fees but that yeah. but the, it is more bang for your buck because we're paying relatively close to the same price for telus yeah and we had virtually no, no we had no internet in some places in the house and really slow yeah. upstairs so yeah so i think overall we're really happy That's with good. it yeah. and we'll do an update once we've had snow and see how that is um oh the snow affects it yeah yeah because yeah. right now we don't have any snow or no. any of that but no. we will <laughs> well, we did have some rainstorms and it was fine yeah yeah that's true yeah. that's true and we had a couple questions in some of our um the other two starlink videos that we did so we're done so we're gonna just answer those questions real quick my son's gonna read the questions for me what was the first one the first one was will it get faster as more satellites go up so we've been told that it's gonna get faster when more satellites go up i actually think it is faster than when we first got it we were testing it higher mm. megabytes per second or megabits per second than we were when we first got it so yes i think yeah i can say yes to that <laughs> Is the dish constantly moving? It's not constantly moving, but it does move to track the satellites. It's not moving right now. And will snow be a factor? 
we're not sure. We're not we'll sure. Get back to you on that one. <laughs> it is supposed to melt a little bit of snow and ice off it. On contact, yeah. But I, I still think you have to clear the snow amounts we get. I'm not so worried and... about the snow. I'm more worried about the spring thaw when it yeah. thaws and then it tries to move. If there's icicles and stuff like that, I think the gears can get broken. You might so... have to go and clear it. Yeah, I think it, yeah. as long as there's no icicles or anything impeding its movement, I think it'll be great. Yeah. I think that's it for this time. Thanks again for watching. If you want more of these kind of videos, just let us know. Leave us some comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.